Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's a circle inside of an equilateral triangle, and all of it is inside of a semicircle with another circle right here. The area of this circle is eight, and it wants to know what is the area of the other circle. And this is day 15 of our Agvent calendar. For the month of December, we're going to solve 31 Katrina Ag puzzles in 31 days. So we got a little bit of catching up to do. If you want to try this one on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. For the first step, let's look at this radius and let's call it r. The area of a circle is pi r squared. And since the area of this circle is eight, pi r squared is gonna equal eight. This looks important, let's put a box around it. Next, let's notice this radius and this tangent line are gonna be perpendicular to each other. Every radius of a circle is perpendicular to the tangent line at that point of tangency. And from the center of this circle, let's draw up to this vertex and let's complete the triangle here. Let's zoom in on this part right here. So this triangle is an equilateral triangle, which means this angle up here is 60 degrees. This line is cutting it in half, so this angle right here, which is this one, would be 30 degrees. And then in this triangle, if one angle is 30, another is 90, that means the last angle has to be 60 degrees, because all the angles add up to 180 degrees. This is a 30-60-90 triangle. Let's pull up the notes for 30-60-90 triangles. 30-60-90 triangles always have their sides in these proportions. Let's rotate the notes like this so we can see whatever the shortest side is to get the medium side you multiply it by the square root of three so since this shortest side is r the medium side is going to be square root of three times r and that multiplied by square root of three relationship is true for all 30 60 90 triangles this side here is the same thing as this side so let's make this root three r and now i think we're done zooming in and because of the symmetry of an equilateral triangle, we could do the same thing down here, and we'd find out that this side is also root 3r. And this entire thing is a radius of the semicircle. So the radius of the semicircle will be root 3r plus root 3r, in other words, 2 root 3r. And I don't think we need these triangles anymore. And let's move the radius over here. Let's move this label over here. Next, let's focus on this angle right here. This portion of the angle is shared with this equilateral triangle, which means this is 60 degrees. And then the entire angle sits on the diameter, which means that it's a right angle. And here's the notes right here, that's always true. If an inscribed angle is on a diameter, it's always a right angle. So back up to this angle, if the entire angle is 90 and this part is 60, the rest of the angle is gonna be 30 degrees. From here, let's find the center of this circle and connect this center through here. Since part of this is a radius and this is a tangent line, these two will meet at 90 degrees. And this angle down here would also be a right angle. Next, let's focus on this triangle. Since this angle is 30 and this one's 90, that leaves 60 for this one. Once again, because all the angles add up to 180 degrees. Now this is another 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's bring back our 30, 60, 90 triangle notes and let's pivot these closer. We know the longest side is two root three R and I want to use these notes to figure out this side right here. In every 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest side is twice as long as the shortest side. So if this is 2 radical 3r, this would be half of that, which is 1 radical 3r. And now let's clean things up. We don't need the notes anymore. I don't think we need these parts of the triangle anymore. And let's highlight the semicircle. So the radius of this semicircle is 2 root 3r. That means this radius is also 2 root 3r. Now this piece is root 3r. That means this other piece has to be root 3r. Let's bring back everything else and let's focus on the question mark circle. This root 3r is the diameter of the question mark circle. So the radius of the circle would be half of that, root 3r over two. And now we can find the question mark. It's gonna be equal to the pi radius squared where the radius is root 3r over two. This exponent will distribute to everything. So we'll have root three squared, r squared over two squared. And let's copy down everything else. The square root of three squared is three and two squared is equal to four. Let's smush everything together. Now we have three pi r squared over four, but from above we know pi r squared is equal to eight. So in the place of this pi r squared, we can plug in eight. Three times eight is equal to 24 and 24 divided by four is six. And now I think we're done with this stuff. And let's bring back our original diagram. The area of this circle is six units squared. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. Here's tomorrow's problem. The circle inside the equilateral triangle has an area of 16. What's the area of the circle inside the rhombus? How exciting. We'll get this video up ASAP.